Google unveiling long-awaited new details around its large language model, Gemini, this morning. Google has introduced Gemini, a powerful new AI model that's set to influence almost every aspect of Google's operations. In the past year, Google has been trailing behind its main AI rival, OpenAI. However, with Gemini, Google is making a big move to show that its AI is top-notch in Silicon Valley's upcoming era. By the end of this video, you'll discover the top 10 things they're not telling you about Google Gemini. Let's start. Number 1. Google's best Gemini video was faked. Gemini's demo video shows its ability to use different modes by telling a story about drawing a duck that starts as a squiggle and ends up as a complete picture. It jokes about the duck's color being unrealistic and says, what the quack? when it sees a blue toy duck. It even chats about the toy duck when people ask questions with their voices. But that's not all. The video also shows off other fun things Gemini can do, like playing a game where they switch a ball between cups, recognizing hand movements for shadow puppets, and rearranging drawings of planets. The video is fake. It's not real. Google made a demonstration by recording scenes to see what Gemini their creation could handle. They guided Gemini by showing it pictures from the recorded scenes and giving it instructions through text. So even though Gemini can do the things Google displayed in the video, it didn't do them live as they suggested, and it might not even be able to. In reality, it was a set of planned text commands with chosen pictures, all crafted to make the interaction look different from how it is. Number 2. Gemini AI Beats GPT-4 Gemini AI outperforms GPT-4, but the difference isn't huge. You might have come across the image from Google claiming Gemini Ultra is more powerful than GPT-4. While Gemini Ultra does better, the gap seems smaller when you delve into the 60-page paper released by Google. After carefully comparing Gemini Ultra and GPT-4, it turns out Gemini performs better than OpenAI's GPT-4, which is the technology behind ChatGPT on 30 out of 32 common academic benchmarks. However, OpenAI is preparing to launch a stronger version next year. CEO Sam Altman hinted that the upcoming products would make the current ones seem outdated in comparison. Number 3. Not all Gemini versions are the same. Gemini has three versions, each with its own purpose. First, there's Gemini Ultra, the powerhouse taking on OpenAI's GPT-4. Then comes Gemini Pro, running on BARD, positioned in the middle to outshine GPT-3.5, the standard ChatGPT version. Lastly, there's Gemini Nano, a streamlined model crafted for efficient performance on mobile devices. Whatever the task, there's a Gemini model tailored to meet your needs. Gemini Ultra is creating a lot of buzz, but it's currently in the hands of a chosen few. Testers, safety experts, and big business partners are the lucky ones getting to explore it first. Unfortunately, the rest of us will have to be patient and wait until early next year before we can dive into the Gemini experience. We're getting a sneak peek now, but the full show is just around the corner. The Pixel 8 Pro is the first smartphone to feature Gemini Nano. Now, Gemini Nano is powering the Summarize feature in Android's recorder app on Pixel 8 Pros. Google also reveals that this AI will enhance the Smart Replay feature on Android for Pixel 8 Pro users, but with a twist. It only works if you're using the Google Keyboard and specifically in WhatsApp. However, Google assures that Gemini will extend its capabilities to more messaging apps and other parts of the operating system in the upcoming year. It's an exciting development for Pixel users to see new possibilities with Gemini Nano. Number 4. Gemini can do your homework. Google has made a big deal about Gemini's multimodal capabilities, saying it can do homework. Its multimodal performance means it can understand lots of different things, like text, images, videos, and audio. Google didn't just teach Gemini about these things afterward. They trained it from the very beginning on all these different types of information. They gave Gemini a well-rounded education to make it good at understanding a mix of things. Google posted a video showing how Gemini can assist with physics homework. In the video, a Gemini-powered bard starts with a photo of handwritten questions. 
The AI smoothly turns that into written advice, including equations and step-by-step -step answers. Gemini might just be a helpful virtual tutor for all your homework. Number 5. Reducing Bias in AI Applications Google is putting in a serious effort to reduce bias and stereotypes in AI development. This commitment is a big deal, especially when it comes to Gemini Pro. What does this mean? Well, it means that applications built with Gemini Pro are designed to be fair, respectful of different cultures, and considerate of diversity. This is particularly important in the diverse context of Africa. Through prioritizing fairness and cultural sensitivity, Google aims to ensure that the impact of Gemini Pro is positive and inclusive. It's a step towards creating AI solutions that understand and respect the richness of diversity in the African context, creating a more equitable and considerate technological landscape. Number 6. Gemini is better than anything OpenAI has on deck According to Google, Gemini is outshining anything OpenAI has in its lineup. They even shared a comparison chart, putting Gemini Ultra against GPT-4 in various tests, and Google claims victory in almost every category. Usually, Google keeps things low-key when talking about competitors, but this time, they were pretty direct. Eli Collins, Vice President of Products at Google DeepMind, stated that Gemini is leading the way, scoring over 90% and becoming the first AI model to surpass human experts on the MMLU benchmark. MMLU, standing for Massive Multitask Language Understanding, evaluates AI across 57 subjects like math, physics, history, law, medicine, and ethics. Gemini doesn't stop there. It's also outperforming the current best results on 30 out of 32 widely used industry benchmarks. In simpler terms, Gemini is rocking the AI world. Number 7. Google's launching a paid version of BARD Currently, Gemini Pro is powered by BARD, but if you want to access the top-notch version of Google's AI for chatting, get ready to pay up. Google plans to introduce a paid tier of BARD named BARD Advanced. While they haven't revealed the pricing details, this premium tier promises access to Gemini Ultra and other yet-to-be-revealed features. Considering OpenAI's success with ChatGPT+, Plus, a $20 per month subscription, Google aims to tap into a new revenue stream with BARD Advanced. This move could change things for Google in the long run, providing users with enhanced AI capabilities while contributing to the company's financial success. Google plans to integrate BARD into Google Assistant sometime next year. Although the exact details are still unclear, Google teased a video during a press conference where BARD was seen conversing with a user. This hints at a potential future where smart assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant have a more capable AI engine, moving beyond the limited pre-programmed responses we're used to. Number 8. Gemini Powers a New Supercharged Coding Tool Two years ago, Google introduced AlphaCode, a robot code writer that made waves by being the first AI capable of being competitive in coding conferences. Computer engineers quickly embraced tools like ChatGPT, leveraging AI's ability to translate human language ideas into machine-readable code. Now, alongside Gemini, Google is rolling out an upgraded version of this tool called AlphaCode 2. This new version, according to Google, goes beyond mere coding and excels at tackling competitive programming problems that involve intricate math and theoretical computer science. It's a big step forward, showing the AI's capability not just in coding but in handling complex problem-solving scenarios in mathematics and theoretical computer science. Number 9. Gemini will hit every part of Google Gemini is set to do more than just power BARD and on-device AI for Android phones. Google has big plans for this new model, intending to use it across all key products, such as Chrome, Search, Ads, and more. While there is no specific timeline provided, Google has mentioned that these products will start using the power of Gemini in the coming months. It seems like Google is preparing for a widespread integration of Gemini's capabilities across its major offerings. Number 10. Gemini Will Change Google's Cloud Business Google makes a lot of money from something you use every day even if you don't realize it. It's Google Cloud, 
and it provides various services for businesses, like storing data, analyzing information, and using machine learning. Many businesses rely on Google Cloud for their technology needs, and now, Gemini is here to bring in a new era for this platform. In addition to the broader Gemini news, Google introduced Cloud TPU V5P. These are computer chips designed for artificial intelligence, and companies can use them remotely through Google Cloud. When you're creating and training AI tools, you need a ton of processing power. And Google is gearing up with chips specifically made for this job. They're even developing their own AI models to run on Cloud TPU V5e, making Gemini a tempting choice over other options like GPT-4. It might sound technical, but it shows that Google is making big moves in the world of AI. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.